Let's make it count. I must practice toughness. Next. GSL Season 3. Reversal. What's up, everybody? We're back here at GSL Code S. It's time to start the round of eight. And uh, for one of the only days ever here in GSL, we're working on Tuesday. We also have another cast tomorrow, and then it's Korean Thanksgiving. Yes. So I the did, whole, whole I round not. of eight is uh, going to be done in two days. Yeah, today and Immediately. tomorrow. Yes. So we are ripping right through there. Uh, and then a little bit of time off while we wait for that round of four as we finish up the last season of GSL this year. That's right. Starting to lock in those players for BlizzCon Tasteless. The foreigners are all decided. It's time to decide some of these Koreans tonight. Yeah. We're going to eliminate a couple of them. This is an especially important part of the tournament for WCS points here. So a lot of pressure. We do have TY, our – well, he's – obviously you guys know him as a great player, but uh, he also is casting this season. So we have a funny situation where he's been casting most of the tournament, but he's been getting far enough in this. He's been casting less and less. So we have Sue casting with us today. Yeah. Well, not with us, but with us. He's with us in spirit. Yeah. And, well, with us as a company, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's what the bracket looks like right now. Dark versus TY, Rogue versus Zest, Keen versus Trap, and Maru versus Ragnarok. Yeah, and we are doing the left side right now, tonight. Dark versus TY and Keen versus Trap. And then tomorrow night we'll be doing Rogue versus Zest and Maru versus Ragnarok. Uh, I mean, it, you know, I said it before, the top part of the bracket looks like a round of four. It's just, it's insane. And then the bottom looks like around a 32 group. So it's kind of really funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, I'm excited for Keen, especially today. I really, yeah. I get happy for these guys when they've been playing for almost as long as the show has been going on. And then they finally uh, reach a new milestone. In this case, Keen getting to the round of eight. I, I think Trap's definitely the favorite there. Dark versus TY is going to be interesting as well. Dark just recently, as of late, uh, has not been playing as well uh, as we would have hoped. And GSL versus the world specifically, I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, well, he just won GSL Tasteless. No. So I, I was think certainly not referencing that. You need to jump over <laughs> here head first. In GSL <laughs> versus the world, he underperformed. He yeah. uh, was the captain of one of the teams. Uh, got eliminated in the break. Yeah, break yeah, early. Uh, anyways, we got an interview, and then we're going to go into our match. Hello, everyone. Welcome to GSL. So today we have the 4,000th game starting off today. <laughs> and before we get into the 4,000th game, we're going to have a pre-game, pre-match interview. And the current WCS Korean, rank, Korean ranking number one, Dark, is going up against TY today. And it's a phenomenal matchup today. Hello, TY. Hello, Dark. Okay, let's speak to Dark first. And Dark, you don't seem to have any type of jinx after winning the championship last season. And after looking at the round of eight bracket, you said that you're really happy. So how are you feeling today? Well, I feel like I feel um, more comfortable than other players right now. Well, I feel like TY ah, is easier compared to other oh, players because I've never lost him before. Okay, now let's speak with TY. And TY, you made it here after two seasons. And you said that you had to go through a lot of experiments before facing up uh, Dark. What do you think? Well, in the process of practicing, um, I've had several scrims with Rog, and he helped me a lot. And I think he's the best Zerg right now, so no problem. And Dark seems so confident right now. Well, you know, looking at the head-to-head -head record, um, he's clearly a lot ahead, so I'm a little scared. But I feel like Dark has a lot to lose compared to me. So as a, as a perfect of a challenger, I'm going to enjoy my game today. I think you guys are going to have um, quite contradicting mindsets today. Um, since Dark has already uh, confirmed his spot in the BlizzCon. And TY is currently ranked 9th. 
So he needs to uh, take the win today in order to go to BlizzCon. So you'll probably feel desperate, right? Yes, that's right. So I'm going to have to be dark to um, earn the qualification to BlizzCon. And if I lose to um, Dark, I'm going to lose in BlizzCon anyway. So I'm going to just play with full confidence. And Dark, you seem so comfortable today. How are you feeling? Well, TY said I have lots, lots to lose. But I feel like TY actually has a lot to lose as well. Yeah, as for me, I'm just so comfortable. And I think I can play uh, with full performance today. And another joy is that um, the caster right now in placement is Su. And Su uh, was in the same team as Dark. Uh, did Su cheer for you, Dark? Well, if it was before, I, uh, he probably would have rooted for me. But since TY, um, if TY wins, um, Su gets to keep casting, so I'm not sure. Did Su cheer for you, um, TY? Yes, that's right. Su did, uh, Su is probably going to cheer for me right now. And I actually did get a lot of help from Su at midnight. <laughs> and yeah, Sue's been um, screaming with TY, apparently. And this matchup seems really, really hype. And before we get into the actual match, would you like to send a message to each other? Well, I've lost to him so many times. And losing this one, I don't think it's going to make any difference. So I came here with a really firm mindset. So I'm going to challenge the um, king to his throne. And Dark, you. In 2015, I couldn't go to BlizzCon because of one set. So I was really angry at the time. So I'm um, thinking at the time, I think um, TY is going to be quite pressured pressure today. You know, in order to qualify to BlizzCon, I think he's going to have to put up a very good performance. And 2019, Mountain Dew GSL Codex, round of eight. Let's see who comes out in this match. And the two players actually boast around 70% win rate in the CBT matchup. So let's kick off the match. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Who do you think takes it, Artosis? Well, I think Dark takes it, uh, but I do want to point out that we still have Super Tournament too, so this is not actually TY's last chance if he does end up losing. It, he, there's a possibility that a good showing in Super Tournament 2 could get him to BlizzCon as it, well. Well, there might also be something we don't know. Maybe he's agreed to cast all of Super Tournament. I actually don't know. I would assume not, but I mean, I would assume yeah, he saw no. shot, but if Super Tournament's only four days, yeah, I kind of. It would probably doubt. depend on the availability of Sue. I, I don't know, but if he's saying. The thing is, they go way down shot. the rabbit hole for casters. We'll go all the way to SOS if we have to. You know, it doesn't <laughs> matter. So it's true. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too worried about that. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, looking at this, I, I think that Dark is favored going in right now. I think in general, uh, Zerg versus Terran is a little bit on the Zerg side. And I would we're, say we're so. seeing that uh, kind of play out, but. Uh, TY is such a smart player. I want to see what he brings. The thing is, his style is generally a little bit slower. He's not as sharp a TVZ player in the early and mid game, like Amaru or an innovation. He's more someone who will grind you out over the long term, and that's very difficult in the current metagame. So I want to see like what TY has brought here today, because I think he has to approach uh, Dark in a different way than he normally plays his TVZs, if that makes sense. Well, he's had plenty of time to prepare. Sue and TY, uh, what is it, moonlighting, meeting at midnight, <laughs> to come up with builds and strategies. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be cool to see how this game goes. Again, Dark ranked number one in WCS, but did just, I should say, has just now come back from a disappointing showing in GSL versus the world here mm -hmm. to redeem himself, here to win a GSL Code S again. But TY, you know, I mean, he's a caster. I mean, those guys are really good. Well, we're going to see about that in a moment, Jason. <laughs> How good can they be? Yeah. Uh, map one is on Thunderbird, and that is just loaded up. So let's start our best of five right now. <gasps> that
There it is, 4,000. Whoa. Does this mean the world ends? What happens now? Gosu Crew, dark. 4,000 matches. 4,000. In each match. Is it just GSL Code S, right? Or are we counting everything? I don't know if we count super tournaments or not. I would imagine we count first three seasons because they were basically the same thing. Splice, T-Y. What if someone goes through and counts and realizes that someone made up this number? Like someone in the Freak of TV office was yeah. doing the task to count how many matches there have been and they got they lazy thought. and they're like, ah, it's probably like 3,700. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's only like, been 1,600 matches. We're like, oh, we probably should have checked that. It felt like 4,000 at this yeah. point in time for how long we've been doing this. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, I mean, I'm, I am interested to see what TY brings. Not as much with Dark. You know, uh, are we going to go into very long games? Is he going to bring out more mech or bio? If he has to go to that late game, what style is he going to utilize there? Lots of people in the studio today. Despite the weather being post-apocalyptic outside, thank you for coming down, guys. It's been a, it's been wet, it's been rainy, it's been dark in Seoul lately. It's dark in the studio, too. Nice. <laughs> the lights are off, Tasteless. Mm -hmm. And Dark's playing... <laughs> So, looks like a very fast third command center here for TY. So he's going to go into a highly economic build, two open, uh, getting just the Reaper, no factor or anything. Or, no, I'm sorry, I'm so crazy right now. I wasn't looking at the screen for a minute. That is a regular command center. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's the fastest third I've ever seen. <laughs> the third like, before a second even, even. That doesn't even make sense. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yeah, I mean, it, Thunderbird is kind of the big macro map right now. See a lot of longer games here. Was this the map where we saw Maru, yeah, with the mass nuke Thor type strat, right? Uh, against Ragnarok? Yeah, I believe was it against so. Ragnarok? No, it was against Solar, I believe. Uh, yeah, against Solar. Driving him back. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to go into a game that long. I feel like TY is not going to be able to have the stamina to take on Dark, who is so good at Supreme late game, you know? Well, it, it, TY, in my opinion, for the longest time, until Maru really stepped up and became the god of Terran, I think he was actually the best late game TVZ for years. Uh, he was just, he was phenomenal at it. It's just, it, more late than, game more TVZ than innovation is hard right now. Oh, for certain, I think he was much better late game than innovation. Really? Yes, yes. Like, the thing is, innovation, like, I think... I think that people's assessment of what innovation is good at is actually wrong a lot of the time. Like, he's so good mechanically, but being good mechanically makes you a god at things like timing attacks, not necessarily at complex tactical army movement late game, right? That's Those yeah. are two very, very different things, and that's what TY specifically is very good at. Yeah, tactically, he always had the best... Well, he always set up the best positions for really good tactics. Does that make sense? It wasn't just that he tactically was very good. He knew how to bring the game into a position where he could actually utilize that. Yeah, and it, like yeah. the way he rotates his armies around, he makes very, very smart moves later in the game. Oh my god! But uh, yeah. It, so it's it's weird because you know Dark mentioned that Ty hadn't beaten him. I mean, when you look at it, the the style of Ty is he wants to get into that later game, and Dark is a player that is also actually very good at the late game. Do you think Terrans have to approach this matchup with the way that Protoss have started to lately in the meta, where a lot of Protoss say, we're actually trying to avoid late game. Should Terrans be doing the same? Because we've seen a lot of Terrans welcome the late game, mm -hmm. and then Broodling and Fester is just way better. I mean, Terran mm -hmm. have tools, but it seems like, at least on the Zerg side, whether it's the way the units operate or the skill of the players, uh, they're certainly exchanging their armies we're getting a lot more value yes. than the Terrans are. So, I mean, would it be worth perhaps Terran trying to uh, do more timing-specific things or do more cheesy stuff? Or Yeah, I think that that's how the metagame should shift right now for the Terrans that actually want to win their matches uh, against these very top-of-the-world Zergs. That's, that's just my opinion. We'll see if that turns out to be the case. Uh, TY right now, though, he's going into battle mech. 